Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Gil from Black Hole Comics, and today we got the Legacy Collection uh, Power Rangers in the 6-inch scale. Um, at first, I thought this was a Target exclusive because I was only seeing people buy it from Target. But I actually found these over at Walmart. Uh, pretty cool window box packaging right there. See the Red Ranger. And then it actually comes with a Build-A-Figure, uh, Build-A-Megazord. And um, right now, this is the wave that's out. It's the Red Ranger, Green Ranger, and then the Thunder Ninja Zords or something like that. Or the Thunder Ninja Rangers. Not too familiar with them. I'm only really familiar with Mighty Morphin. But uh, the Black Ranger, Blue Ranger, and Yellow Ranger will be in the second wave. And from what I heard is that the Pink Ranger is going to be in like a third wave or something like that. I don't know. Um, but eventually we'll have all the pieces to build the uh, Mighty Morphin uh, Megazord. So here we go, we got the Red Ranger right there, Green Ranger back there. He doesn't come with any pieces, but he does come with a couple more accessories than the Red Ranger does, plus extra hands. So we're going to go ahead and crack them open. Hey guys, uh, not at the review station, but I just wanted to go over this real quickly with you guys. The back of the box, side of the box, front, it has the build a Megazord, and it shows the Red Ranger with the Power Rangers. The inside, I took the inside plastic part out. Then at the top, Mighty Morphin. Yeah. And on the side, it says right there, Legacy Collection, Red Ranger. The green one says the Green Ranger. Just wanted to go over the height real quick. It's roughly about six and a half inches tall. So here these guys go out of the packaging. Got the Red Ranger here, Green Ranger. Um, got this main Megazord piece that comes with the Red Ranger. Pretty cool. Details on it, pretty good paintwork, good sculpt. Can't wait to get the rest of the figures. It does have an articulated head, it does move around a little bit. Can't get, wait to get the rest of the Rangers to build the Megazord. The Red Ranger actually doesn't come with this, um, but it does come with this guy right up here. This is the previous line that was out before um, the 6 inch. They have these little 5 inch guys. So this is actually the sword that comes with them. But uh, I think it looks better with this scale of figure. Oops, dropped them. I think it looks better with this scale of figure. Fits pretty well. I always thought that it was a little bit too big for the 5 inch figure. And you can see the little... Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex made out there. Nice crisp line work uh, with all the paint. You can make out the Tyrannosaurus Rex right there on the power coin. This does port in right here. And it does come in with the blaster. So like I said, it does not come with the sword. I got this from the 5 inch figure. But it does look pretty badass with it. And then uh, Tommy does come, or the Green Ranger does come with the Sword of Evil. It does come with the flute. Same thing where you can make out the little logo on the power coin, make out the symbols on his uh, little vest thing right there. Really good paintwork all the way around. It's a little messed up right there. You can kind of see where the gold is bleeding onto the green. But that's just being nitpicky. Same thing, this, the little pouch for the dagger, plugs in right there, and then, like I said, he does not come with any Megazord pieces, but he does come with these alternate hands, and they're to hold the flute, as if he's playing it. Pretty cool. Let me go over the articulation, go ahead and take this stuff out of his hands. Uh, just by the way, these are super pliable, super bendable. So if you, you know, accidentally bend them a little bit too much, you could use a hair dryer to just straighten them out real quick. So these guys are kind of like set up like Marvel Legends with their articulation. Way better than the 5-inch figures. The 5-inch figures were super crappy. I think only like 7 points or 9 points of articulation. These have tons more. So the head does go down, up. Not a whole far back, especially because of this. Let's see if the Red Ranger... Oh no, he doesn't go too far back either. So yeah, not too far back, but he does go down. 
does rotate. And no real head pivot or neck pivot there. Um, so with this vest there, kind of just tuck right in there and get caught on the morpher right there. So that's as far as you can go forward. You can push it a little far out. Let's see. Yeah, if you get it in front of the morpher, he does crunch a little bit more forward. Not much more, just a little bit. And just go far back. His arm does go out. A little bit less than 90 degrees. Does have a bicep rotation, double jointed elbows. Very nice. Does rotate at the forearm. And he does rotate at the wrist. And does hinge up, down. A little pig. Check it to get it back on. There we go. Get it back on. Okay, and it does go forward that much. Goes back. Back. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. And it does go far out a lot. Double joint knees. Does have boot rotation. Does go down, up, and ankle pivot. You get them in a lot of dynamic poses, a lot of good poses. So I got to say that these figures are awesome. They are a really good buy. I would rec really recommend them. Um, these guys' price point is at twelve ninety nine. They're still available. Um, twelve ninety nine to sixty nine nine. I've seen them all over the place. Actually, these guys' uh, price point right now is twenty bucks. Grab them before they start getting marked up because guaranteed people are going to start scalping them and start charging like $30, $40 for them, especially the Green Ranger um, because all the nostalgic stuff that goes along with him, um, especially all the accessories and the build a figure piece and stuff that comes with like the Red Ranger. I feel like $20 bucks is pretty decent. I would recommend them. Um, I just picked these guys up because I wasn't going to pick up the SH Figgy Warts. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those but they're highly articulate import figures I think that this is a good substitute for that because um, the Green Ranger roughly goes for about a hundred bucks and then the Red Ranger goes for about 80 I'm not about to pay 200 bucks for two figures so 20 bucks each and if you think about it you get all six Rangers for 120 bucks that's not bad then you do come with the Megazord build a figure so seven figures for 120 bucks isn't bad um, Alright guys, thanks.